Hi there and welcome to WCMU's Quiz Central. Tonight our teams are North Branch and Frankenmuth, so don't go away. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Good luck to both of our teams. Let's play Quiz Central. Chopin. Correct. All right, your next toss up. The lottery. Right. The stranger. You are correct. Traverse City Central hangs on. They are our season champions. Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to Quiz Central. I'm your host, Steve Smith. And the teams with us tonight are North Branch and Frankenmuth. They are two of 48 teams competing this year. The Quiz Central teams are divided into four divisions based on school size. Each division will have a champion, and one of those teams will become this season's overall winner. They're vying for scholarships from Central Michigan University, and Rick Westover tells us all about that. The four starters and three alternates of the division championship teams will each receive a two-year, $4,000 room and board scholarship from Central Michigan University Residence Life. In addition, four lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive textbook scholarships from the CMU Bookstore. And a special thanks to CMU Enrollment and Student Services, which provides lunch for our contestants and their traveling party. All right, thanks, Rick, and we will get a chance to meet our team members in just a moment, but they're ready to play the game, so let's jump right into the maroon and gold round. The maroon and gold round gives you two minutes to answer as many questions as possible. If the team ringing in misses the question, the opposing team will have a chance to respond. There's no talking among team members, and correct answers are worth 10 points. Good luck to both of our teams. Here is your first question. What NFL team, which abruptly released kicker Dan Bailey in September 2018, is owned by Jerry Jones and plays in AT&T Stadium in Texas? Your next question. What man was Chief Justice at the time of 1973's Roe v. Wade decision, which established a woman's right to an abortion? Gabriel North Branch. Berkeley. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Frankenmuth. Go ahead, Lauren. Scalia. Nope. We'll find out in a minute. In 1975, members of the Derg strangled what monarch, who was born with the name Rastafari and spent over 50 years as Emperor of Ethiopia? Mark. Gabriel, North Ma Branch. Mansa Munsa. Nope. Frankenmuth. Okay. Next question. What Russian-born author of the memoir Speak Memory wrote a novel in the form of a commentary on a 999-line poem entitled Pale Fire? All right, we're batting 100 here. Next question. In the 11th century, the Shona people began building what great ruined city in southern Africa, including its many soapstone sculptures of birds? Nathan, North Branch. Zimbabwe. You are correct. What Australian kingfisher bird, which sits in the old gum tree in a popular children's song, Lauren Frankenmuth. Kookaburra. That's right. What pair of battles in which troops under Francis Smith retreated from the Old North Bridge featured the firing of the shot heard round the world? Lauren Frankenmuth. Lexington. I need two battles. And Concord. That's correct. All right. What regnal name was shared by the king directly preceding Queen Victoria and the king who took the British throne during the Glorious Revolution? Gabrielle, North Branch. James? Nope, sorry. Go ahead, Frank and move. We are out of time. William was the correct answer on that. Okay, so we've got our maroon and gold round under the way and we have a close game. It's 20 to 10. Frankenmuth has the lead. The questions that were missed, the NFL team was the Dallas Cowboys. The Chief Justice was William Berger. Uh, the members of the Derg strangled what monarch? That would have been Holly Selassie. And the Russian-born author was Nabokov, Vladimir Nabokov. All right, again, 20 to 10, our score. It's a close one, and it gives us a chance now to get to know our teammates a little bit better. We'll turn to Frankenmuth first and Jake. Hi, I'm Jake, and I'm a theater kid. I'm Milo. Um, I'm a junior at Frankenmuth High School, and I'm in the cross-country team. I'm Lauren. I'm a senior at Frankenmuth High School, and I do theater with my brother, Jake. 
I'm Ruth. I'm a junior at Frankie Muth High School, and I'm a member of Ski Club and Band. All right, nice having you here. Tanner Klontz and Ellis Moore are Frankie Muth's alternates. They're coached by Aaron Toth. Let's give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> and now we turn to the team from North Branch. Hi, Lily. Hi, I'm Lily. I am a senior at North Branch High School, and I am on the varsity cheer team. Hello, my name is Gabrielle Haddon. I'm a senior at North Branch High School, and I'm a member of the Quiz Bowl team. I'm Nathan Coulter. I'm a senior at North Branch High School, and I'm the president of the chess club. Hi, I'm Lance Turner. I'm a senior at North Branch High School, and I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. All right, nice to have North Branch here. The team's coach is Katie Wagner. Let's give them a nice round of applause. And with that, we jump right back into the action with the kickoff round. The kickoff round is a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. The team that correctly answers the toss-up will be asked a bonus. Then we go back to a toss-up question for both teams. Toss-up questions need an individual response, but team members can consult on the bonus. Captains, remember the answers must come from you unless you defer to a colleague on the bonus questions. Here is your first toss-up question. What structure, whose length was estimated to be the breadth of 12 fingers when it was named, is the first segment of the small intestine? Lance, North Branch. The duodenum. That's right, and a bonus for North Branch. What author included the poem Dreadful, which asserts someone ate the baby, alongside one about Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout in Where the Sidewalk Ends? Shell Silverstein. That is correct. All right, both teams on a toss-up. The Reckoning is a 2018 novel by what best-selling author known for such legal thrillers as A Time to Kill and The Firm? Lauren Frankenmuth. Dean Coots. Nope, sorry, incorrect. North Branch. You were in the right area, John Grisham. All right, next toss-up question. The first film in Peter Jackson's Hobbit trilogy has what subtitle? Milo Frankenmuth. An Unexpected Journey. That's right. Here's your bonus. The Doctor's Plot was a phony conspiracy created by what dictator who began the Great Purge in 1936 and was the Soviet successor to Vladimir Lenin? Joseph Stalin. That's right. All right, both teams play. What city served by Pearson International Airport with the official airport code YYZ is the capital of Ontario and the most populous city in Canada? Lauren Frankenmuth. Ottawa. Nope, sorry, incorrect. North Branch. Vancouver. Nathan. Vancouver. Nope, Toronto was the correct answer. Both teams, though, what mythologically inspired term refers to a piece of malware disguised as legitimate software? Lauren Frankenmuth. Trojan horse. That's right, and a bonus. In the Bible, what wife of Abraham gave birth to Isaac at age 90? This is a bonus. Bonus for Frankenmuth. Sarah? That's correct. All right. Both people play on this one. Both teams. What novel in which Helmholtz Watson is exiled after befriending John the Savage is a critique of technological progress written by Aldous Huxley? And that novel is Brave New World. What order, whose members derogatorily coined the term Jansenism, was founded by the author of The Spiritual Exercises, Ignatius of Loyola? Gabriel, North Branch. Eugenics? Nope, sorry, Frankenmuth. Jesuits would have been the answer. <gasps> the next <laughs> toss-up question. What word for the site on an enzyme that binds substrates also refers to a type of transport that uses energy to move a substance across a membrane? Lily, North Branch. Electron? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect, Frankenmuth. Go ahead, Jake. Active transport? That is correct, and here is a bonus. What astronomical body's formation is the subject of the giant impact hypothesis, which suggests an object called the Thea collided with the Earth? The moon. That's right. Both teams, what country to which the Confederados immigrated after the American Civil War did not ban slavery until its 1888 Golden Law? Milo Frankenmuth. Brazil. Yes, correct, and another bonus. What book, which uses a pin factory to discuss the division of labor, popularized the economic metaphor of the invisible hand and is by Adam Smith? There we go. Oh. 
Need an answer. No answer. Okay, I think Ruth had it. It's the wealth of nations. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and that brings us to the end of our round there. All right, always go with your gut instincts sometimes, you know, what can you do? But Frankenmuth does have a lead, 90 to 30 right now. And with that, we will take a quick little break here. And when we come back, we'll see if either team can play the perfect 10. Stay with us. Preschool gives children the foundation they need to be successful in school and in life. But more than half of kids in the U.S. do not have the opportunity to attend a pre-K program, making them 25% more likely to drop out of school before graduation. The PBS Kids 24-7 channel provides quality programming, games, and hands-on activities that are proven to develop early learning skills. When you say the word PBS, immediately quality comes to mind. And not just quality, but a massive cultural diversity. Everybody here in the United States gets a look at a global culture, which is phenomenally presented. What makes PBS so strong is that it is a product of the support of the public. It stands out as a public service. It reaches out and grabs a nation and it grabs a world, and I think that's wonderful. Welcome back to Quiz Central and the Perfect 10 round. The Perfect 10 gives you 60 seconds to answer 10 questions from your choice of clues to three categories. The opposing team gets 30 seconds to tackle all unasked, missed, or passed questions. Frankenmuth has the lead, so North Branch will be going first today. The clues to the categories are, it's sci-fi, guys, and the winner is, and checkmate. It's sci-fi, guys, the winner is, and checkmate. Which one of those sounds good to you? That sounds good to me. Sci-fi? Need a choice, please. Um, it's Sci-Fi Guys. Sci-Fi Guy, and your actual category is early science fiction. Identify these things related to early science fiction. Mary Shelley novel, subtitled The Modern Prometheus. Oh, you just okay. answered. Fra Frankenstein. That's correct. French author of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Jules Verne. Jules Verne. That's right. H.G. Wells' novel featuring predatory Morlocks. The Time Machine. The Time Machine. Right. Author of The Lost World, who also created Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Sir Arthur, Arthur Conan Doyle. That's right. Mark Twain novel about time travel to Camelot. Um, a Kid in Camelot. Nope. Term for an artificial worker popularized by the play R.U.R. Android? Nope. Author of the dystopia, the Iron Hill, of the Iron Hill, as well as White Fang. Uh, Jack London. That's right. Planet called Barsoom in Edgar Rice Burroughs' novels about John Carter. Mars. Mars. Yep. Author, and we won't get to the final two questions there. Okay, Frankenmuth, 30 seconds on the clock to you. Identify these things related to early science fiction. Mark Twain novel about time travel to Camelot. Yeah. Uh, defer to Milo. Um, Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court. That's correct. Term for an artificial worker popularized by the play R.U.R. AI. Nope. <laughs> Uh, author of the story Nightfall. Hemingway. No. <laughs> and first name of the publisher Gernsback, for whom an award is named. Out of time. That answer would have been Hugo. All right. The other ones that were missed, the uh, term for artificial workers, that would have been robots. Um, and the author of the story Nightfall, Isaac Asimov. Okay, so we move into the second round of uh, for the Perfect 10 round. Frankenmuth, you have your choice of the two remaining categories, and those categories are, and the winner is, and checkmate. Which one do you want? Preferences. And the winner is? And the winner is. And the winner is. Okay, the actual category is presidential elections. What Republican defeated these Democratic candidates in presidential elections? John Kerry. Abraham Lincoln. Nope. George <laughs> McClellan. Oh, Ronald Reagan. Nope. Adlai E. Stevenson. Ronald Reagan. Nope. Samuel <laughs> Tilden. 
Uh, Kennedy. Nope. Alton Parker. No answer. All right. Winfield Scott Hancock. Oh, no answer. John W. Davis. Lincoln. Nope. Walter Mondale. Reagan. You are right. Yay! <laughs> Al Smith? Uh, Coolidge. Nope. <laughs> and we are out of time. I thought we were going to get a perfect 10 there, but, you know, not, not a good one. So. <laughs> All right, North Branch, 30 seconds on the clock to you. And the Republican defeat, what Republican defeated these Democratic candidates in presidential elections? John Kerry. George Bush. George Bush. Yes. George McClellan. George W. Bush. George W. Bush. Nope. Adlai E. Stevenson. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Nope. Samuel Tilden? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Who? Abraham Lincoln. No. Alton Parker? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Kennedy? No. Kennedy. Winfield Scott Hancock? Abraham Lincoln. Just go with it. Abraham Lincoln. No. And we're out of time. Okay, let's see here. We've got a lot of them to get through here. Uh, let's see. The Republican, what de Republican defeated these Democrats? Uh, let's see. George McClellan was Abraham Lincoln, one of the popular <laughs> answers of the day. All right. Adlai Stevenson, Dwight Eisenhower. Samuel Tilden was Rutherford B. Hayes. Alton Parker, Teddy Roosevelt. Winfield Scott Hancock, James Garfield. John Davis was Calvin Coolidge, Al Smith, Herbert Hoover, and I don't think we ever got to George McGovern, but he defeated, uh, he lost to Nixon in that presidential election there. There will be a quiz on all of that after this, so uh, make sure you took notes, but at this point, we're going to move right on with the game and into the home stretch round. The home stretch round, again, features a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. I'll ask one toss-up question. The team that answers correctly will be asked a bonus. Then we go back to a toss-up for both teams. You know how the game's played, so here's your post, first toss-up. Pakistan's most populous city is what port on the Arabian Sea that served as the country's first capital? Answer, Karachi. Another toss-up. What poet asked to catch the early love up in the late? In the 33rd of her sonnets from the Portuguese, another of which inquires, how do I love thee? And that's Elizabeth Barrett Browning. A brief poem about the sound of a frog splashing into a pond was written in 1686 by what master of the haiku? Matso Basho. All right, that's a hard one to say. Rembrandt painted Aristotle looking at a bust of what author of the Iliad? Lauren Frankenmuth. Homer. All right, and we do get to a bonus question here. <laughs> what animals can build mounds up to 20 feet tall, but due to their gut bacteria, can also eat wood and damage Termites. buildings? Termites. That's correct. Both uh, teams play on a toss-up. What seven-letter word is a quantity equal to a time interval times the average force during the interval and equals a change in linear momentum? Oh, it's a bonus. Isn't it, I believe? A bonus? No, toss up. I'm sorry. Toss, toss up. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Jake? Acceleration? Nope, I'm sorry. Incorrect. North Branch? Go ahead, Nathan. Speed? Nope. The answer was impulse. Ah. Another toss up. What fast food chain's Canadian stores sell a tomato mozzarella chicken sandwich? Ruth Frankenmuth. Tim Hortons. What? Tim Hortons? Nope, sorry. No. Incorrect. North Branch. Nathan? I hop. Nope. You're going to kick yourself. McDonald's. Yep. What? Uh -huh. Okay. What opera that features the songs My Man's Gone Now and Summertime depicts a hurricane that rocks Catfish Row? Gabrielle, North Branch. Hurricane? Nope. Frank and Move? Be Porgy and Bess by George Gershwin. Breitenfeld was a victory for what king called the Lion of the North who died at the Battle of Lutzen while leading Sweden in the Thirty Years' War? And that person is Gustavus Adolphus. What lake in Ghana, formed by the Akosambo Dam, is one of the world's largest man-made reservoirs? 
That's Lake, sorry, rang in a little too late. Lake Volta was the correct answer. And that brings us to the end of our round there. So it maintains a close score. Frankenmuth 130, North Branch 100. And we are going to take a break. We'll come back and play the final countdown. The game will be decided in that round, so don't go away. Our great state of Michigan is truly one of a kind. From the city streets to the small towns, you can see it all right here on Destination Michigan. We'll crisscross the state in search of the sights, the sounds, and of course, the people that make Michigan the greatest state in the land. Take in the scenery, meet the people, and experience the wonder of the Great Lakes State. Come along with us as we share your stories on Destination Michigan. Unlock your newest member benefit. Over 1,000 episodes of your favorite PBS shows. American Masters, Antiques Roadshow, Nature, Nova, Masterpiece. Watch the best of PBS anytime, anywhere. Become a member, sign in, and start streaming today. All right, this is it, the Quiz Central final countdown, and we have a 30-point game. Another two-minute rapid-fire round is the final countdown. The first player to ring in gets a shot at answering the question. If you get it wrong, we turn to the opposing team for a chance to answer. Your first question, the title track of a 1986 Paul Simon album was inspired by a trip to what Memphis mansion once owned by Elvis Presley? Next question. What compound, which was historically known as aqua fortis, is added to hydrochloric acid to make aqua regia and has the molecular formula HNO3? Next question. Oxygen atoms have an oxidation state of minus one in what type of compound, one example of which is broken down by the enzyme, enzyme catalase? Gabrielle? Acid? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Go ahead, Frankenmuth. Lauren? Rust? Nope, we'll find out in a minute. What art form, the subject of two Susan Sontag monographs, was practiced by Dorothea Lang, Diane Arbus, and group F Stop 64 co founder Ansel Adams? Next question. Death Valley, the site of the highest temperature ever recorded in the U.S., is within what southwestern desert? Gabrielle, North Branch. Um, Gobi. Nope, sorry, Frankenmuth. Lauren? Oh, Mojave? Yep, you are right, okay. <laughs> United Airlines Flight 93, the only hijacked plane on 9-11 that failed to reach its target, crashed instead in what U.S. state? Lily, North Branch. Pennsylvania. Right. What particles interact with electrons in Compton scattering, have an energy of Planck's constant times their frequency, and are? Quantums. Jake? No, nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Let me finish that. They are oh. quanta of light. Lily, North Branch. I didn't mean to press the button. Huh? <laughs> Can I, just give an answer? Uh, protons? No. We have. I'll get you the answer in just a minute. What principle whose name is German for building up says electrons completely fill? We are out of time. Okay, it stayed close, but Frankenmuth hangs on to win. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Okay, the uh, particles that interact with electrons and Compton scattering are photons. Okay, the art form was photography. The uh, oxygen atoms have an oxidation state of minus one in peroxides. The compound with a molecular formula HNO3 is nitric acid. And the title track of a 1986 Paul Simon album was Graceland. I thought once the part of the clue that said the mansion owned by Elvis Presley might have given that one away. But again, a good game, two very fine teams. Let's give them both a nice round of applause. And that does it for another edition of Quiz Central. Until next time, like us on Facebook or watch your favorite game online as we feature the best and brightest high school students from around the state. Thanks for watching. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University-owned and operated CMU Bookstore. 
online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.